I love the Silverstone interior in my G80 M3, but what I don't love is how dirty the armrest gets. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install a BMW OEM Alcantara armrest. Brian, thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. In today's video, we're gonna make your interior look awesome by adding a G-Series armrest to your car. So we're doing this in my G80, but if you have a G20, it is the exact same process. First part of the process, you need to move your front seats up. I'm gonna move them up pretty much as far as they go, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Now that you have the seats out of the way, what you wanna do is take a plastic trim tool, and I like to do it up here, and then you just take it and insert it and then this is gonna to start to pry back, and then you can start to release some of the clips, and then just continue to work your way down until everything pops off, and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Once you get one side off, the other side typically comes off a lot easier. And you fold that down like that, and then this is gonna pull out just like that. Next, what you wanna do is start to release the pin, so if you look in here, there are two pins that meet in. The pins go from out and they go in. That's why we needed to move the seats out of the way. So what I like to do is just take a, a, one of these big pick tools, see if you can start to move it over like that. And then from the side, you're just gonna pop it out just like so. Put that down. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the other one. And then what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna lift it up. And what that does is it releases the pressure so that the spring doesn't get all crazy on you. Next, what we need to do is we need to lift the spring off of this little plastic bracket. So if you have a pick tool like this, it normally works good. So the best way to do it is to slide it up to release the pressure. You can hear how much pressure it's already under as it is just like that. And then you just kind of twist up. And you can remove the spring like that. Then once you have the spring out, you can just take it and slide it out just like that. All right, so now what you're gonna do, you're gonna open up your bag of hardware. This all comes as a kit, so you don't have to worry about getting anything separately. And the first thing, there are these white little clips and they're going to replace the clips that are on there. So, to get this off, I'm just gonna take my driver, and just pop it out like that. So if you didn't catch that, basically these are just pressed in like that, and then you just slide a driver behind it. So that's the old one. Then I'm gonna take my new one, pop it on like that. Now, I will say these look exactly the same, so. I'm not really sure if they're needed, but the kit includes them, so we're gonna install them. Next, what you're gonna do is take these two little end pieces. Um, they have these little notches that stick out, and there's a little groove, so they can only really go in one way. So if, if you look over here, this side has this little groove, and when I look at this, there's a little groove. So it's not something that you can mess up very easily. So once you've done that, you can take it and slide it into these little grooves. So these little plastic notches are gonna slide into these little grooves. So you have to kind of find the angle that they wanna go in. Okay, so then it's gonna go to the pivot point. Then you can take your spring, goes over there like that, then over there like that, and then it's typically a little bit difficult to push in, but what I've found is if you take just a flathead screwdriver, a lot of times you can get to clip in first try just like that. Then take your pin, pop that in like that, pop this pin in like that, and then you can either tap it in with a hammer or a lot of times you can just push it in 
if you have a strong enough screwdriver or a pick tool. Then the last part of the process, let's line this back up like so. I'm just gonna knock it in place. And at this point, everything is fully installed. So as you just saw in under 10 minutes, you can transform that armrest from whatever color it is now to this amazing looking Alcantara one from BMW. If you're interested in any of the parts or tools we use in today's video, be sure to see the links down in the description. Once again, my name is Brian, that's Zach behind the camera. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.